Hello, this is Dan Nobles, and welcome back to the semi truck tutorial section or part 19. Um, in this part of the tutorial, we are going to do some texturing. And if you've uh, gone through the tutorials and made it this far, I thank you for following along. I know it's been a long journey and I'm very slow with tutorials, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it anyway. Um, on the uh, texturing, what I was going to do is just put some lettering on the side of the rig. But I thought, you know, what I what I really wanted to do is put some kind of mural on the actual sleeper cab. It would be a little bit more interesting to get a transparent image and do that. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing you want to do before you do your uh, your texturing is you want to come over to your modifiers and go ahead and apply the mirror modifier if you are finished doing all the um, the modeling work on the object that you're going to mirror. Now what I normally would suggest and what I normally do is when you're done with your model I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply the mirror modifiers. I wouldn't apply the subsurface modifiers and there's a reason that I say that. I used to do it all the time. I used to, you know, when I finished the model, I said, okay, I'm going to apply all my modifiers and I'm done with it. But the reason that I don't apply the subsurface anymore is because you can always go back and, like for this, what I want to do is I, I want to go back and make like a low poly model of it and, and do different things. And also, you know, who knows, maybe uh, down the road away, if you want to bump up the modifier, you can you still have it intact to do that. So anyway, I, I just, you know, that's my suggestion is to keep the uh, subsurface modifier and go ahead and apply your mirrors. One other thing that I would like to show you just before we get into the texturing, just really quick, is in the outliner, if we look at uh, the uh, different parts we have, one of the last things I do, which I'm not really gonna go through and do on this tutorial, but I'm just gonna show you real quick, the very last thing I do to my models is I go through and I start naming the parts. It's just good model and practice. And this this part is kind of fun for me because it's it kind of says to me that I'm done with it and I'm, you know, completed my model. So I just start going down the list and whatever I see there, like the cylinder, I know that's a wheel. So you just control click in there and or you call it tire actually. And I just, you know, click one by one. That would be like, I'm going to call it rim underscore front. And let's get out of the tires here just to give you a different example. Bunch of cylinders, bunch of planes. So the whole cab right here, I've got called a plane, which is really bad. So uh, I'm just going to call it the cab. So that's what. Another of my suggestions, just go through and, you know, do a logical naming of your entire model so you don't have all these cylinders and planes and cubes and things floating around. I do have my lug nuts. <laughs> so anyway, I, I'm going to do that later. I'm not going to take up your time doing that. So let's take the sleeper cab here, and I'm going to apply the mirror, leave the subsurf, and... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put an image of some Wookiees, of all things, on the side of the sleeper cab. So probably the easiest way to do this, go into your side view, and we're going to go into the UV image editor. I'm going to X out this reference image. So we have just our UV image editor space here. Tab into this, and if you select the entire thing, and you do U and unwrap, it's going to look like that. And that looks like crap. Of course, what you have to do is you have to go in and set your, your. Um, I'll show you. You can mark your seams for UV mapping so it unwraps correctly. But for the purposes of this, since we have a semi, and we're only concerned about putting images on the side of things, there's a lot easier way to do this. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll do a project from view. So if I go to the top view, let's go into the vertex mode. 
and I'm just going to grab these here and if I go back to the side view it didn't get them all because I have this occlude turned on. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so I have my side there. I'm not going to put any textures up here so it doesn't really matter. But if you do a U and do a project from view, then you get this. And I want to change this to faces so I don't get those extra pieces. And I'm just going to G move this out of the way. Okay, now without zooming in or zooming out or anything, I'm going to do, go back to 7, and pick up this side, grab those, do an Alt 3, so I've got the other side, go back to the face, faces here, and do, oop, not sure what I did there, undo that. <laughs> Okay, uh, you project from view. So there's the other side and I'm just gonna move that out. And the reason I didn't want to zoom or anything is because if you do, as you might imagine, you get, when you project from view, you get a smaller image and I just want these to be the same size. That's the only reason I did that. Okay, so tab back in and I have all these things. Now, these pieces, although they, impor they are important, I'm not going to do anything as far as textures on them, so I'm just going to scale them way down. Then this is quick and quick and dirty, guys. I'm just going to want to do the sides of this sleeper cab. So grab these and go into the other view. This is the view that I want. So scale these down. I'll grab these, move it over here, and just move it away a bit closer, and then I can make them a little bit, uh, scale them up a little bit, so I'll get a better image coverage there. Okay, I'm just going to save real quick. Always good to save. Okay, once you got your UVs laid out like you want it, and I'm not gonna, well, I can do both actually. I can put, uh, I can put the mural on both of them. I'm just going to go to UVs, do export UV layout, and get back to my directory here. I've got a UV directory that I've created already and I'm going to call this one let's just call it sleeper underscore UV and before I save it you want to select all UVs and I don't usually use 1024 I go to at least 2048 on mine it's up to you you can use 1024 is just going to give you the, uh, you know, the amount of resolution you have on your UV layout. So I'm going to do export. So that exported your image. So you probably want to put something on the side of the truck other than my Wookiees. So if you have your image ready to go, what I did is I'm using Photoshop and I just, here's my Wookiees. And I was talking about using a transparency image to begin with, and I'm, then I was like, well, why am I doing that? I don't really need a transparency image. So this was a transparency, and I just filled the background with white because that's the color of the sleeper cab anyway, and this is what I used. So if we come back here and we look at the render view, there's my Wookiees on the side of the truck. And just to give you the uh, node view here. So if I select the sleeper cab, we can look at the nodes that I used. And just to give you a screenshot of this node setup here, pretty straightforward. I'm just using the textured coordinate into the image here. 
This is the actual image that I'm using. I used a diffuse and a glossy shader. Uh, I did have to take the color and bump it down quite a bit on the glossy just to get the image to show up as uh, well as I needed it to. I got an add shader here and then the material output. Okay, so you can go forward and with that information, you know, if you're not familiar with adding textures, you can pretty much duplicate the same thing and add textures to the side of the truck. You know, up here, I'm going to put the uh, Ford symbol. I want to put some headlight textures to make this look better. Things like that that'll kind of spruce it up a little bit. So what is left for this truck? I, you know, this is the end of the tutorial, but you can continue on a little bit. And what I would suggest, what I might do on mine is I'm going to add a steering wheel in here and just a, a box seat, you know, just something that if you're taking a shot, a render shot across the side or something, so you can see that there's something in there rather than just an empty space. The other thing that probably needs to be done, of course, is the the transaxle across here, which is, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be anything really very detailed, just something that will fill in that space so it doesn't look empty. And then you may want to just, on the back of these these uh, metal studs here, just add a, like, some tail lights in there. And that's really pretty much it. I mean, the other thing that would be nice to do once you have the, your, your truck all finished is you can do different trucks with it. In other words, um, you could take the sleeper cab off and um, you can use this as a basis to create a uh, you know different kind of semi. You can also, of course, add the, um, the trailer on the back of it. If you have gone this far in this tutorial and your truck looks something like this, then it's not a stretch at all to add that trailer. I mean, that's something that, compared to what we've done here, would be very easy to add. You can add a tanker, as you see on some of those, some of the semis. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do with it, and when I, I'm probably going to do some of those. And when I do it, I'm going to change the cab color, you know, and just make the truck uh, slightly different so it, it really looks like a different truck. So have fun with that. And uh, again, I really thank you for your patience on this tutorial if you made it this far. If you've completed your truck, I would really like to see what you come up with. So feel free to add a video response or tell me in the comments where I can take a look at your work. And of course, any any comments, any suggestions, any questions, I'll try to try to answer those. So thanks a lot, guys. Hope to see you in the next video.